If you like my videos, don't forget to follow me on social media to keep up to date with all the latest news regarding my channel and my content. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe below or at the end of the video. To purchase any item featured in this video, please visit any of my affiliates which are also linked in the description below. But most importantly, check out my Amazon store, filled with recommendations on Blu-rays, DVDs, books and other media featured in my videos. G'day guys, Dave Lee coming at you once again from Down Under. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming release of Lady and the Tramp from the Walt Disney Signature Collection on Blu-ray. Of course, this is a reissue of this movie on Blu-ray. This has previously been released as part of the Diamond Edition about seven or so years ago. This was released, and every time Disney does another one of their re-releases, I'm asked the same question from Disney movie fans, and that is, is it worth the upgrade? People want to know that if they have the previously released edition, is it worth buying the new one? Or if they don't have the previous one, should they buy the new one? Or should they track down the old one? Or people want to know if they don't have either should they buy both? So basically, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the specs of the upcoming release of Lady and the Tramp in the Walt Disney Signature Collection, and we're going to be comparing them with the specs of the Diamond Edition, so I can pretty much answer all of those questions for you by the end of the video. We'll have pretty comprehensive answers to all those questions after we go through all of this stuff. Lady and the Tramp will be released as part of the Walt Disney Signature Collection on Blu-ray on February 27th, 2018, and will also be released on digital seven days earlier on February 20th. The movie will of course be released as a standard edition in a slipcover. This includes a Blu-ray, a DVD and an HD digital copy. Additionally, Target will release an exclusive storybook edition of the movie. This includes a Blu-ray, a DVD, an HD digital copy and comes packaged in this gorgeous digibook packaging with a 32 page storybook. And Best Buy will release an exclusive Steelbook edition of the movie. Interesting to see that they're releasing Steelbooks of the Signature Collections now instead of lenticular covers, which they did with the first few movies in this line. The Steelbook also comes with a Blu-ray, a DVD and an HD digital copy. And also worth noting is exclusively available through the Disney Movie Club. Lady in the Tramp 2 Scamps Adventure will also get a re-release on Blu-ray with a Blu-ray, a DVD and a digital copy. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the movie itself. Uh, people usually want to know whether this will be a new restoration or whether this will be using the restoration from the Diamond Edition. Now, of course, the press release doesn't specifically mention anything about the restoration of the movie, which, of course, tells me that as per all of the Signature Collection so far, this is going to be the exact same restoration, both video and audio, as was seen on the previous Diamond Edition of this movie. Uh, there's no need for a new restoration. These were all restored stored for the Diamond Edition for Blu-ray. In most cases, these movies were all scanned at 4K for the new restoration. So the new restorations are in 4K already and just no need to do a new restoration for these. The only reason really going forward that we would get new transfers of these movies would be if they were released on the 4K format itself, which unfortunately doesn't look like that's going to be happening anytime soon. Disney, of course, are releasing 4K discs, but, but so far they haven't released any of their back catalogue, uh, with the exception of the Prestige, but that was really only in conjunction with Warner Brothers and Paramount because they, they put together the Christopher Nolan box set. And with no 4K release for Lady and the Tramp, it looks like uh, we're probably not going to be seeing animated titles on 4K for, for a very long time. Uh, so basically, no, no new transfer. It doesn't need a new transfer. The transfer on the old disc is spectacular. There's nothing else you can do with that. So this doesn't warrant a new transfer. Now, this disc uh, actually has a couple of different versions of the movie, if you want to call them different. Disney's calling them film versions, but really it's just the same version of the movie with multiple ways of experiencing it. Of course, you have the original theatrical edition. Uh, this is just the version of the movie without a commentary or anything like that. Then you also get a sing-along mode, which they describe as sing-along with all your favourite songs as you watch the movie. I believe this is brand new. I think the sing-along edition of these movies is something brand new to the signature collection. Uh, and then you also get a version of the movie which is Inside Walt's Story Meetings. As you view the film, hear the reenactments of Walt's story sessions with animators and see how their ideas were realised on screen. Uh, this was released as part of the Diamond Edition as a audio commentary. So instead of marketing that as an audio commentary here, they're marketing it as a different version of the movie. It's not. 
it's just an audio commentary. The previous version actually did have this as a second screen feature. I'm pretty sure they dumped the whole second screen thing. So uh, the second screen was like you'd watch the movie on one device and then you'd have your iPad and you'd be watching like concept art and interviews and stuff on, on this screen. I don't think they do that anymore. So really, it's just going to be like an, a, a, just a commentary there. Uh, next up to talk about is of course the special features on this set. First up, let's take a look at what's brand new to this set because of course whenever Disney Disney do a reissue of one of their movies on one of their brand new lines. They're adding a few new bonus features to try and entice the old collectors into double dipping. So let's take a look at what is brand new to this set. We're going to feature it called Walt and His Dogs. Through archival recordings and photos, hear the tales of the dogs Walt Disney owned and loved over his lifetime. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, so that, that sounds like something for the animal lovers. I love animals, but... It's... it's it almost feels like they're scraping the bottom of the barrel with this. That's like, that honestly sounds like one of the just, just strangest. It's almost like someone's gone, hey, did, hey, did Walt Disney, uh, did he own dogs? Yeah, yeah, Walt, Walt had a, a couple of dogs. I think we got some pictures of them in the archives. Uh, let's, let's make a, let's make a, a special feature about that. That sounds like the fluffiest piece ever. Uh, we also get stories from Walt's office. Take a tour of Walt's office suite on the studio lot. Carefully recreated to look just as it did when he occupied it. This sounds great. They actually rebuilt Walt's office. A couple of years ago now, they had it all in storage and then they sort of rebuilt it all on the Disney studio lot. I've seen videos of this before on YouTube. The uh, Disney has uploaded multiple videos of tours through Walt's office. While this sounds great and really interesting, and it sounds something good that I'd actually like to own on, on physical disc, I don't know what else this is going to offer that wasn't already on YouTube. I'll be interested, check it out. I don't expect that special feature to be any more than three or four minutes though, really. If it was a substantial thing, then maybe I'd be, uh, that'd be, that'd be really, really cool. Also on here is how to make a meatball and other fun facts about Lady and the Tramp. Watch a delicious lesson on how to make perfect meatballs with Teen Chef Amber Kelly and Oh My Disney Show host. Uh, guys, what was that famous scene in this movie? Uh, is that the famous scene with like the meatball? Let's make it. Let's make a special feature telling people how to make meatballs. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not impressed with the new bonus features on this. At least the previous signature editions have actually offered some really substantial stuff. They've only been really short bonus features, but they've been pretty substantial. Like Beauty and the Beast had this really beautiful insight into um, some original concept art that was discovered from the early 1940s that the animators used in the in the 1990s. Uh, 1980s, 1990s, when they were developing Beauty and the Beast. That was a really great feature. This almost feels like, again, scraping the bottom of the barrel. They put together a special feature about Walt Disney's dogs and a special feature about how to make meatballs. This, uh, for someone who's a completist like me, who usually ends up buying these just because of the brand new special features, this is not very enticing. The only thing that does sound enticing to me is stories from Walt's office. But again, how much of that have I already seen? How substantial is that special feature going to be? I'm not sure. As far as new stuff, that's it. Let's take a look at the classic bonus features that are ported over onto this disc. We get Diane Disney Miller remembering Dad, Walt's daughter shares memories of her father, and Disneyland's early days, as well as a look at his apartment above the firehouse. A never recorded song, I'm Free as the Breeze. Well, it has been recorded like almost a decade ago when they first released this, so I don't know why they're still advertising as never recorded song. It was recorded for this. Uh, take a listen to a song originally meant to be sung by Tramp. Uh, additionally, you've got a song selection for Peace on Earth, What Is Baby La La Lou, the Siamese Cat song, Bella Notte, uh, He's a Tramp. Uh, there's also deleted scenes on here, which is the introduction of Boris, Waiting for Baby, and Dog Show. So all that stuff that I just read off there, that was previously on the Diamond Edition. Now what people want to know is how much special features were left off between sets. Uh, the Beauty and the Beast one uh, notoriously ported all of the special features over from the Diamond Edition but made them all digital only. So you could only access them if you had access to the digital movie. It wasn't on the physical disc. Also notoriously the Sleeping Beauty Diamond Edition reissue completely omitted something like three to six 
hours worth of bonus features that were on the Platinum Edition. They just did not include them all. So Disney's had a really sketchy history of forgetting to port over bonus features or just not wanting to port over bonus features between releases. What I can say is that every brand new special feature that was created for the Diamond Edition is ported across onto the Signature Collection on the disc. So you'll have that physically. Every single feature that was created for this edition will be on there. But the thing that this does omit, of course, it can't be a Disney release if they don't omit certain things. On the new release, we miss out on uh, two and a half hours worth of special features that were created for the DVD. So this edition ported over all of the DVD special features, all two and a half hours worth of special features, but they have been lost in the transition between Diamond and Signature. So I'm gonna read these out. These are the DVD special features, which are of course included on the DVD and the Diamond edition, but these are the things you'll be missing out on uh, if you buy the Signature Collection Edition. You miss out on a seven part, 53 minute documentary, Ladies Pedigree, The Making of Lady and the Tramp. Uh, you miss out on Finding Lady, The Art of the Storyboard. An original 1943 storyboard version of the film, which is like a 12 minute storyboard treatment thing. The Siamese Cat Song, little documentary on that. Puppypedia, Going to the Dogs. Uh, good riddance to that, to be honest. Uh, the Bella Notte music video, three theatrical trailers, four excerpts from Disneyland TV shows, and two additional deleted scenes. So all of that stuff is not on the Signature Collection. Of course they were all standard definition features on this, but there's some really, really, really substantial stuff on there. If you want to know anything about the making of the movie, they're the special features that you want to watch. All this other stuff, it's like fluffy stuff. However, this press release doesn't make any mention of digital only special features. So I'm guessing that there's either not going to be any digital only special features, which is good because that means they've sort of put everything on the disc. But it could also mean that maybe these DVD special features will appear as a digital only bonus. Uh, with the past releases, especially Bambi and The Lion King, a couple of other things sort of change with the release over time. So a couple of special features wound up on the discs that were not mentioned in the press release and a couple of other things appeared on the uh, digital only servers that were not mentioned in the press release either. So there's always a chance that this stuff will turn up. So don't take my word 100% gospel, but this stuff here was not mentioned in the press release, which leads me to believe at this stage, this is not included. It's certainly not included on the disc, but it probably won't be included on digital only either, but it would be a nice little bonus uh, for those of you who pick, the, uh, who pick up the new edition. Let's have a little discussion about the cover. Here's the cover for the signature collection of The Lady and the Tramp. I have a few little issues with this. I don't like this cover. I don't like it at all. I don't like this new border that they're going with. Uh, they have changed the style of the signature collections again. This is the third time they have changed the style, the template of the signature collection. If you take a look at the original release of Snow White, it had the text going down the side. It looked like, all right, this is what Disney's gonna be doing now. Text down the side, looks beautiful. It's a nice new way to distinguish the old releases from the new ones. And then, after Snow White, they started putting text in the middle again, which was almost like, what What are you doing? Why are you changing, why are you changing the, uh, the style of the covers so soon? Like two releases in, they changed the style. And now, they're changing it again. They're going back to the titles down the spine after like, what, four or five previous signature collections and they've added this awful border. This awful new uh, multi-screen edition border. It's so ugly, look at this. Multi-screen edition, what does that mean? Basically means they're pushing digital and they're telling you, you can watch this on as many different screens as you want. That's all multi-edition screen means. It's just a fancy new way of saying there's a digital copy featured in this disc. They are really, really pushing digital copies. That's really how they're trying to sell these new ones. People who didn't have digital copies, obviously these ones. But yeah, look, I don't, I don't like the cover. Disney have a habit of changing the style of covers halfway through a line. They did it with the Diamond Editions. Of course, the Diamond Editions originally had really beautiful artwork like this. And then later in the line, they started issuing them in this awful design with the picture inside this circle. They did, they did quite a number like this and they were just horrible. And they're doing the same with the Signature Collection. I wish that Disney could just release one concise collection where the styles of the cover art is consistent across the entire collection. What's the point of labeling that a collection if you're just gonna keep changing the style? I don't see the point in that and it annoys me as a collector and someone who I feel like might have a little touch of OCD. It's, look, it's not a huge thing really, but it's just one of those little things that annoys collectors like me. It's like if you're gonna 
do a collection, do it right. So, all of that said, let's round this out. Is it worth the upgrade? I am honestly going to come at this with a solid no. If you have the previous Diamond Edition version, there's no need to buy this new one because it's got everything that you've got on this plus like three new special features which sound like the fluffiest pieces of bonus features Disney has ever offered us. Walt and his dogs. How to make a meatball. What is this? This is another, it's just, it's, it shows the sign of the times. Disney just doesn't want to put much effort into their releases anymore. They just want to repackage and get it out there. What is that? I'm sure the, the, the couple of little things the kids will enjoy, but look, it's gotten to the point where there's so many bonus features. There's so many special features out there. So many documentaries on all these movies. You can't keep doing the same thing without treading the same ground. So really, I don't blame them for not doing a new making of or anything, but I wish they kind of could have uncovered new stuff like a new documentary on uh, on hidden artwork that's been published for the first time or, you know, uncovered, something uncovered or, you know, whatever. That's the kind of thing that I'm kind of wishing for from these. And instead we get Walt and his dogs and how to make a meatball. Okay, so if you have this edition, there really is no need to upgrade. I, of course, will be um, buying this new one. That sounds really contradictory, but I just, I'm a completer, so I'll be buying this um, just because I, I, I'm collecting the signature line now. I'm, I'm in deep, and um, the stories from Walt's office actually interest me. But it'll be nice to own that on, on hard copy. But look, if you're not such a hardcore collector and you have this one, there's no need to upgrade to this new one. There really isn't. If you haven't got an edition of this, at all do you buy the new one or do you buy the old one? It's it's a tough one because it's hard to track these old ones down without having to pay like a lot of money on eBay. But if the two and a half hours of bonus features ported across from the old DVD means a lot to you, it would mean a lot to me, maybe consider maybe looking into trying to get this or even the old DVD to get those bonus features and buying the new Blu-ray because the new Blu-ray will be cheaper than going and buying the, the old set. But if none of that bothers you if, you, if you're not too worried about behind the scenes features and missing out on like two and a half hours of making of stuff, then the new one's a good way to go. You've got a good substantial amount of special features on there. It's a decent release and at least it doesn't emit a whole lot of brand new stuff. It just emits a lot of the older DVD bonus features. I wish they had at least ported across that seven part making of documentary onto the new disc just so those who get it kind of get a little making of documentary because you don't as it stands right now. Again, they might pop up on digital uh, when, when it gets released though. So really it's not, it's not an essential release. So this has turned into a bit of a rant. Alright, that just about covers everything for this one. Once again, Lady and the Tramp Signature Collection will be released on Blu-ray on February 27th, 2018 and on digital on February 20th, 2018. Uh, if you're a first time viewer of my channel and this is the first video of, you, of mine you've seen and you'd like to see more videos like this, then please, at the end of the video, hit that big old subscribe button and give me a little bit of support. To all my regular viewers out there, thank you once again for joining me and to absolutely everybody, don't forget to hit that like button down below does a great deal in getting these videos out there. Uh, look guys, I hope I'll see you all again soon. Until next time though guys, take care and I hope you have a magical day.